Okay, so last time I tried to do this lab when I wasn't here, it was a disaster. So rather than just providing the written instructions like you see before you now, I'm also going to walk you through a few things to look at. All right, first you're going to set up this arrangement like I have sitting at the back of the room for you to look at. Notice we've got these plastic trays uh, with about a centimeter full of water, uh, nails taped at each end, just taped to the side of the tray. And then I've got a sheet of blank graph paper not under the tray. I've got a sheet of bl blank graph paper under the tray. Uh, what I haven't done for you that you probably want to do is to make some reference lines. Uh, maybe just pick a few points at random places so that you're not having to count uh, individual blocks to find out what point on this paper corresponds to the point on this paper. All right? So. You'll see I've got the uh, positive terminal to the multimeter, uh, the lead, positive lead to the multimeter hooked up to one end at one nail, and then we have a closed circuit between the 9 volt battery and going through the water in the tray. Then I'm going to take my multimeter and I'm going to set it to 200 volts direct current. And the reason we're going to use 200 instead of 20, even though it's a 9 volt battery, is because it'll round off to the nearest tenth, and so you won't have to worry about it jumping back and forth. Then we're going to take the common lead for the multimeter. We're just going to arbitrarily pick a point in the water and look at the reading on the multimeter. If it's an even half increment, like this is 4.0, then I will transfer over onto this sheet that point and call it 4.0 volts. Then I'm going to pick several other spots, moving the lead around until I get a reading of 4.0 again, and then transfer that point onto my unmarked on my graph paper that's not in the paper, not in the, not in the water. I'm going to repeat that for increments, all other increments. Uh, that are even half voltages, doing at least four points at each one. So it was half, one, one and a half, two and a half, so on and so forth. And then transferring those onto the paper that's not under the water. Then you'll notice that uh, we're going to, when we get done with that, we're going to use a smooth curve to connect those points that were the same volt voltage. Those are going to be our equipotential lines. We're going to connect points that had the same electric potential. Then we're going to draw lines that are perpendicular to those equipotential lines. These will be uh, the electric field lines that will leave the positive terminal and land on the negative terminal. All right. So do well, focus, make sure you clean up after yourself, and we'll see you in a few days.